What's going on, everybody? Tesla launched their new supercharger version 3 tonight. Uh, disappointed there was no live stream. However, there were a few people on Twitter that were in attendance and they had short little brief little video clip things. And between the information from that, the Tesla blog post compiled it all to a nice, quick, uh, easy to understand video uh, that pretty much summarizes everything you need to know about the new supercharger. So uh, with that said, the first thing we should talk about is uh, the visual uh, aspect of the supercharger. So visually, uh, the ones that you go to today will be almost identical to the version three superchargers that are coming. Uh, the only visual difference between version two and version three is the core thickness. So version two is actually thicker and version three is a thinner cord. When I say cord thickness, I'm talking about the one that you're actually taking off plugging into your car. That one, it will be thinner on the version three. Uh, the specs, uh, very, very impressive. Maximum power output of 250 kilowatts or 8,000 miles per hour. What's really interesting about this is because it's no longer split power uh, between neighboring vehicles, you're going to get this at a steady rate. It doesn't matter who's charging beside you or uh, how many people are at the supercharger. None of that matters anymore. So a version 3 supercharger, uh, just from a spec standpoint, is very impressive. But how does this translate to a real charge? So like I was saying, some people shared like quick little video clips on Twitter of them at the event and to see their Model 3 charge at a thousand miles per hour, like adding a thousand miles per hour is extremely impressive. Uh, but here's some of the great examples. So a long range Model 3 will add about 18 miles per minute, uh, 75 miles of charge in a five minute span. And here's the one that really gets me in terms of like perspective of how fast this is. So let's say you're driving on the, on the highway. You can drive for three hours. You stop off at this new supercharger V3. You can charge up for 15 minutes and you can go back on the highway and drive for three more hours. Uh, extremely impressive. Uh, Tesla says it's 50% less time charging or you'll spend around an average of 15 minutes total at a supercharger. Uh, the one thing I did notice though is it maxes out at 80%. So you can't actually go up to 100. You can only go up to 80%. I uh, would have to imagine this is to preserve the longevity of the battery or a safety measure, or whatever it may be. I could be wrong about the 80%, but that's what I saw. So uh, l l let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong or what you guys think. So uh, continuing on, who can use it right now? So Model 3s, it's limited to Model 3s right now. The Model S and X uh, will have it through a software update in the upcoming months. Uh, but right now you need to have a Model 3, uh, but not everyone with a Model 3 is eligible. You have to actually be part of the early access uh, program and you have to be in the Bay Area, Bay Area because that's the only place where they have them. And last but not least, you need the software update 2019.7.11. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Uh, the current superchargers that are version 2s, they're not going to be upgraded to version 3s uh, as far as I know. Uh, but Tesla did mention that additionally, we are unlocking 145 kilowatt charge rates for our 12,000 plus V2 superchargers over the upcoming weeks. So even though Tesla isn't going to be upgrading the V2 to V3 uh, superchargers, they're still improving the performance on the V2 ones that, that are out there right now that you get to use all the time. So that pretty much covers it, who can use it. You basically need a Model 3. Uh, you need to be part of the early access program so you can get this software update 2019.7.11. And the only area you can really use it right now is in the Bay Area. Uh, Tesla did say during quarter two, they're going to open up to non-beta members. And there will be plenty more uh, V3 superchargers uh, throughout North America that you can use, not just in the Bay Area. So the 2019.7.11 update... Uh, what does it do? So first off, it gives you access to the supercharger V3, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, conditioning battery. So I thought this was really interesting. So it's going to condition your battery. So let's say you're driving around and you're on that three hour highway driving that we talked about before, and you need to stop off for that 15 minute charge so you can drive three more hours. Uh, your car is going to say, okay, we're navigating to a supercharger. It's going to start getting your battery prepared to charge, heating up to a certain temperature to get the optimal uh, charging point. But Tesla says it will reduce average charge times 
by up to 25% will reduce uh, the charge times. And last but not least, uh, this 2019.7.11 update will also give summon for the key fob for Model 3 owners. Uh, the way it'll work is you hold your finger down on the top of the uh, fob on top of the car and your car will start beeping or not beeping but like flashing and then you can hold the front of the car to go forward or hold the back of the car to go backwards and you have to be within three feet for this all to work so kind of interesting that they're still able to uh, add features to the model 3 fob uh, one i'd like to see is passive entry and i know some people might say hey it's not possible from a logic standpoint i think it might be but uh We'll get into that in another video. So anyway, that does it for Supercharger V3. Uh, everything you need to know is right here on the screen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll have more Tesla content coming in the next couple of days, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.